Hello everybody, it's me Noel, and today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to update your Luma 3DS to 13.1, which came out yesterday. To check to see what firmware is your Luma 3DS is running, press select and power button, and you should see the Luma 3DS menu screen. This Japanese old 3DS is running the Luma 3DS version 13.0.2, so I'm going to update it to the latest firmware. Now, what is new to the Luma 3DS 13.1? We're going to launch the universal updater. So let me go ahead and save and exit. And I'm going to pause the video, so be right back. On the home menu, you want to launch universal updater. If you do not have it, then you're going to have to go to the website and scan the QR code by FBI. And if you do not have all the homebrew apps, then go to the written guide, 3ds.hacks.guide, and follow the finalizing setup to get all your homebrew apps. Here it is. You see, Luma 3DS version 13.1. What's new? Here's the description. Pause it if you want to read it. I'm not going to read the whole entire thing because it's just a tutorial video. So go ahead and read all of this. Pause it if you need to. Go ahead and press A. Update the boot.firm. You can also update the Luma 3DS through the GitHub page, but I'm gonna say just do it through the universal updater so that you don't have to take the SD card in and out from the system, no matter what. And you also wanna update the 3DS homebrew launcher menu as well, the boot 3DS X as well. Cause when I was doing it on my new 3DS XL, I saw that green update icon. So I had to go and update that. I'll go ahead and update NetPass as well. It does take a while. There you go. Both the boot 3ds X file and the boot.firm, all of them are updated. As it took about a few seconds to turn off my Japanese old 3ds, let's go ahead and press select and power button again. And this is what the new Luma 3ds version 13.1 configuration menu screen looks like. So far, these four are the same. Let me go ahead and uh, set the splash screen to after and enable these as well. What has removed from the new version of Luma 3DS? Let me go ahead and take a look at my sister's modded 2DS. It removes enable custom upscaling filter for DSi and allow left plus right slash up plus down combo buttons for the DSi. Those two things are removed. I'm not sure what they are, but if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. And there's also the boot chain loader as well, but first let me go ahead and save these. Again, I'm gonna start the video and be right back. For those of you who are wondering what does the boot chain loader does, for those of you who have updated your Luma 3DS to the latest version, 13.1, and you press the select and the power button at the same time and you're in this screen let's go ahead and launch the boot chain loader and when that happens it takes you to god mode 9 so that's pretty cool so that you don't have to like press the start and the power button at the same time to load god mode 9 you can do it on the luma 3ds configuration menu screen so that's pretty cool since i updated the latest version of luma 3ds 13.1 it's safe to update your modded 3ds Yes, it does. As long as you are running the latest version of Luma 3DS, then you shouldn't get the ARM 11 error. So let's go ahead and perform a system update, which by the way, yes, there is no stupid stability update by Nintendo. It's still 11.17 as the latest version of the 3DS system. I do apologize that everything is Japanese, but if you need that visual, then obviously you can watch this video if you can. I want to make sure that the 3DS is connected to the internet.
Now, how to update your Nintendo 3DS system? All you gotta do is just go to the system settings, go to other settings, scroll all the way until you see the system update. As you can see, we're on the latest version of the 3DS, so there is no updates. So that's a good thing. For those of you who need a visual guide on how to update your Japanese Nintendo 3DS system but cannot understand Japanese, I'll show you how. You want to go to other settings, go all the way until you see system update. You're going to select this one. And of course, the system is obviously going to be up to date just because we're still on 11.17. I don't think Nintendo is not going to push a new update on Nintendo 3DS system yet, but it's still 11.17. I hope Nintendo is not going to release a stupid stability update to 11.18 something, but hopefully not. So we'll see. Anyways, so that's the tutorial video on how to update your Luma 3DS to 13.1. If you enjoyed that video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.